please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. Armed Cameroon government army soldiers visited the home of the senator Kemende Henry in Bamenda early yesterday, 11th of January. The Southern Cameroon's political elite spent months of self-imposed exile in Yaoundé, calling for an end to the war, and upon returning home, maintained a kind of deliberate silence according to the three acolytes of the senator. But after the anti-French Cameroon sentiments erupted in Bamenda this week against the Africa Cup of Nations, unidentified gunmen believed by Southern Cameroon's activists to be working on behalf of the Bia Francophone regime in Yaoundé shot the senator dead at Maitu Nkwen, Bamenda, three subdivision. Cameroon intelligence report interviews with three senior Anglophone officials in Bamenda and six pro-Yaoundé CPDM militants depict a pattern of mass arrest, intimidation and torture, and in many cases targeted killings of Southern Cameroonians by soldiers loyal to the Bia Biti Ewondo regime in Yaoundé. Southern Cameroonians still serving the Francophone-dominated Bia government, including the Minister of Territorial Administration, Paul Atanganji, are all viewed as corrupt, and Southern Cameroonians now say federalism alone will not provide a long-lasting solution for the English-speaking people of Ambazonia. Several Southern Cameroon's activists have been shot dead recently in Bamenda, Boya and Limbe in what appear to be targeted assassinations according to local human rights groups and the vice president of the Ambazonia interim government, Dabni Yerima. Dabni Yerima said Ambazonia intelligence hinted him that Cameroon government soldiers were behind the deaths because those killed had been openly critical of the Africa Cup of Nations and had also received threats based on their anti-French Cameroon activism. In a statement released by the Southern Cameroon's Department of Foreign Affairs, the Ambazonia interim government stated that the killing of the senator Kemende Henry amounts to what they view as a campaign intended to silence Ambazonia Ground Zero leaders and causing them to abandon the struggle or consider fleeing the country. The Bia regime's declaration of war on the English-speaking citizens following the killing of some four gendarme officers in Agbokem in the country's southwest region some five years ago will go down in history as a faux pas, which will haunt the country for a very long time. Thousands have been killed and maimed in a war very much driven by arrogance and ego, and many families will be entering the new year with a lot of pain in their minds. The war itself was avoidable. There was no justification for a full-blown armed conflict in a country that is still at grips with massive and complicated development issues. Cameroon needs all its citizens to come together to give the country a shot in the arm, but the government does not seem to see things that way.